on my uh, weekly visit to Greenlight Comics. Uh, usually uh, have monthly subscriptions come in and uh, get soothed by the the very tame docking song in the background. So, uh, what have we got today? Savage Avengers. Now, and that's Ross. Believe it or not, that man that you see behind you is the one of the owners of the store and also the former vocalist of Over the Damnation. I used to work with you years ago, I used to get the singles issues and uh, that's how I actually got onto this. But it wasn't uh, until much later where I actually started you know, actually reading myself. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think I'm only up to uh, volume 11 over the book. Uh, the singles issues have stopped now, haven't they? Is that right? Yeah, 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 it's all done. Yeah, the volume's done as well. Actually, yeah. I'll put that in my bag. <laughs> Particularly more interested in the the, uh, the classic characters. So a lot of the beta titles they've been putting out lately have actually been really enjoyable. Another one more sort of high on my list is the new Conan series. This is the um, book version of the first few episodes. I think out of the two, yeah, out of the two Conan series, this is probably the one I like the, the most so far. It's got an overarching storyline of all Conan about to be sacrificed to a god. I'm actually in the middle of reading the original Robert E. Howard Conan books. Yeah, they should probably do some graphic novel adaptations of their stories themselves. I reckon that'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> Yeah, so Savage Avengers, it's, uh, you, know, the, you know, the whole superhero thing, it's really something that I really get into. I mean, I loved it when I was a kid, and Spider-Man was my favourite, but I kind of like the idea of the crossovers they're doing, especially with Conan. I mean, Conan's pretty much the, the main draw for me. And it is actually quite quite gritty and, uh, you know, very sort of, very hardcore compared to, you know, your average kind of superhero comic. Mind you, I mean, I haven't really kept up that much with the traditional heroes uh, and what's sort of happening uh, nowadays, but uh, this is one of those ones that uh, definitely sort of, uh, you know, come under my radar and it's, you know, outside of what I would normally digest. Just my thing. <laughs> <laughs>